What's up everyone, Influenced LA here, and we just saw the new movie Bullet Train early starring Brad Pitt, and we have our honest review with no spoilers. But first, if you could subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video, we are doing a cool giveaway once we hit 1000 subscribers, and the more comments you leave on our videos will give you a better chance to win. Now, all aboard the review train, as we here at Influenced LA had the opportunity to see Sony Pictures' new movie Bullet Train in advance of its official release August 5th. With an absolute stacked cast, including Brad Pitt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Sandra Bullock, and even Bad Bunny, this movie definitely had an array of talent to work with, and it showed. With incredibly witty humor and chemistry between the cast, including a special shout out to Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry's performances as Tangerine and Lemon respectively, their characters truly shine together and their interactions alone leave you laughing a good amount of times. Aaron truly shines in his role and definitely is on the verge of taking that next big step as a big time star. Brad Pitt, who stars in the movie as a character called Ladybug, delivers some of the best work of his career as he is unbelievably convincing as the non-violent, talk-with-words type of mercenary who finds himself constantly stumbling into the worst of luck. May we ruin your life the way you ruin mine! Dude, I don't even know you! Again, with no spoilers, a short synopsis of the story is Brad Pitt's character gets called in to retrieve a suitcase off a train. Seems like a very easy, straightforward job until it's discovered multiple mercenaries slash hitmen are on the train as well and one thing leads to another. Before you know it, you're locked in your seat for a mysterious ride as piecing together the mystery and watching it unfold throughout the movie is one of the more satisfying takeaways from the experience. At times, it would feel predictable, but then they would throw a curve or two that would keep the mystery going. Certain parts of the movie dragged a little bit, especially in the third act, but that may be attributed to the fact when there was action, it was non-stop, hard-hitting, next-level awesome. You can feel the John Wick inspiration in this movie, and they blend it so well with the humor, transitioning from when it needs to be serious to when it's time to joke around. The movie was very engaging overall, and the director deserves a shout out as well. David Leitch, who actually was Brad Pitt's stunt double in the classic movie Fight Club back in 1999, had the honor of bringing his filmmaking expertise to this project, and it flourished. The lighting and cinematography really captured the tone of the fight scenes very well, and the bigger scale explosive scenes were executed greatly. The main villain could have used more screen time to add a little more depth and understanding to their character, and that also was the case for a few other characters in this movie. There were a few surprise cameos in the movie that are sure to give the audience a couple good laughs. The very end of the movie felt a little rushed, but again, the story was unique and the action in the movie overall was great. It made for an enjoyable time at the movies. We officially give Bullet Train our stamp of approval and recommend you see it in theaters August 5th. That's gonna wrap up our review for Bullet Train. Are you excited to see it? Let us know in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. We'll have more videos out this week with some updates and theories around what will be shown at Disney's D23 Expo coming up next month. So make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification so you can stay updated and not outdated.